A small unmanned aerial vehicle is all set to be a huge step of, towards protecting the rhinos of Kaziranga. This is the first time aerial technology is being used to track illegal activities deep in the forest. NDTV Sanjay Chakraborty traveled to Kaziranga to witness the latest flight. At first glance, this unmanned aerial vehicle may not look so convincing, but when it comes to saving the rhinos at Kaziranga, it will be the first of its kind in any national park in the country. The World Wildlife Fund, which is behind this new technology, says it's the best thing Kaziranga could have got to combat poaching of rhinos. Fitted with a camera, the UAV will be like an eye in the sky, capturing what's going on in the impenetrable areas of the forest. What's more, the vehicle is light enough to be launched by hand. I think it's too early to say, but this is one additional tool, you know, because it gives you extra pair of eyes in the sky. So I think, yes, in the, in the future, maybe in a year's time, we will know whether this has a bigger impact, allowing Kaziranga you know, staff to have, to have more domination over the area. Though recent census at Kaziranga put the number of rhinos at this park at 2,329, marginally up from last year, poaching numbers are still worrying. In just the last three months, as many as 16 rhinos have been poached, and last year, 22 rhinos were poached at the park. For years, authorities at the park have been grappling with hostile terrain and obsolete equipment to fight poaching. Now they are hopeful that with the unmanned aerial vehicle, tracking rhinos will be much easier. It's not only the anti-poaching strategy, but at the same time, uh, your uh, uh, animal management and in case of floods, no, there are certain other issues. So I think this uh, will be very helpful. But this was only a test flight. And subsequently, the equipment will be customized as per the requirement of the park. The unmanned vehicle will be tested over the next year and based on the evaluation, it will be decided whether more UAVs can be introduced, first at Kaziranga, then in the other national parks of the country. For now, the small vehicle is a big step in saving the rhinos. With Sanjay Chakraborty and Alok Pandey, Yash Shavla, NDTV.